How you guys doing today? Welcome to Tartaria Tour St. Augustine. So I've been attempting this video for many months and I guess I'm just too caught up in my head about needing it to be perfect and wanting to improve the quality of my videos. Um, but one thing I really don't want to do is sacrifice the flow. Like, you know, sometimes my stuff won't be edited properly or whatever. Because the flow is always the priority. The, the, the stream of information. And whoever's meant to hear this and, and resonates with it will hear it. So, um, for those that, that are new or, or don't know what the channel is, because I have many things. My name is Tavi. I am a um, composer, music producer, artist, many other things. I like to say I'm an innovator and an explorer, exploring on this old world, new world realms. Bringing back the truth in a muddied age, you know, because whoever writes, whoever wins the war writes the history books and rewrites everything, so you gotta question everything, especially nowadays. Nowadays you got a lot of trash infiltrating, so you gotta have a spiritual practice to go and like center yourself in. You know, I chant, I meditate, I take cold showers sometimes in summer, I do breath work, I watch what I'm eating, I have juice every day, intermittent fasting. Follow your intuition. You'll know what you need to do and what your purpose is and where your path is. So St. Augustine was really amazing. It was like knowing what we know about mud flood and Tartaria, old world, going in there, we went and I came there, we came there straight off of swimming with the dolphins. So it was already high vibes. You come across the Lion Bridge, to the right you see a beautiful star fort. And to the center you see all this red and palm trees as you're going over the bridge over the waterway. And the buildings are outstanding. The, the amount of detail in there and, and, and the fact that it's still intact is really amazing. I mean, I was so impressed and we didn't have too much time and it was about to rain. It was raining when we finished swimming with the dolphins and we, we got over there. We were praying for it to stop to rain, like yeah, it's gonna stop raining when we get there. And it did stop raining. The The rain gods did allow us to uh, film. It slowed down. It wasn't a c complete torrential downpour um, like it was when we left the dolphin place. And we got there and we had a window of time to film and walk around the entire downtown area. So walked around, filmed as much stuff as we could, had an umbrella. It was difficult. Apologies on the shakiness of the camera. Um, definitely want to go there and just spend like a few days there because you know that you know th th there's so much stuff in there um the Ponce de Leon Hotel uh, which is Fledger College outstanding the place across from it uh outstanding which is now like a museum all around it and and um when we go into the video where I'm reading the Wikipedia and the history of it, it doesn't make a lot of sense because it says the same guy made all three of these ornate buildings and he's he's in cahoots with uh, Rockefeller, all these repurposements. And, 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 the, and the Ponce de Leon Hotel was one of the places that on the classic video of waste management, there was no bathrooms in there. So a beautiful, huge hotel, ornate details on the toppest of the spire where no people are going to go, but there's no bathrooms. So that's got to make you think. Was 
the previous civilization? Were they breatharians? Were they surviving on something that 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 was less dense than what we eat that didn't cause them to have to, you know, expel waste? So these are things to think about. Um, I'll go in a little quickly to the to the wiki and a little bit of the mainstream history of it and my thoughts on the stuff and then it'll get on the ground and uh, if you don't want to watch that you can you know skip forward in there but I appreciate all you guys I appreciate the growth that this channel has had in the past few months um, and the Instagram uh, the everything um, will continue to improve and uh, you will continue to see many things in my life on this channel uh, the old world stuff about Lords of Tartaria with my friend Steven in Hawaii got some, something else with my friend Enchanted One that's coming out got um, Dolphin Gang Volume 1 album is out so music videos will be there 432 Hertz videos you know that album's in 432 Hertz you gotta make stuff and listen to stuff 432 Hertz you don't have to but it is preferred because it's the more natural way, the natural path. Um, what else will you see? You'll see meditation music every Monday if you want to sign up for the newsletter. Dolphingang.substack.com um, There's also a Tartaria Tour newsletter. Tartaria Tour, I mean Tartaria, TartariaTour.com You'll find the newsletter if you want to stay connected uh, on email. Yeah, and there's many things. There's, uh, I'll be sharing dolphin messages because I'm feeling more and more connected with dolphins these days. I mean, I've always felt connected with dolphins, but dolphins are the dopest animal. I mean, I don't even know if I could call them an animal. I really think they're another like species of of being. Because you know, when swimming with them, it was like it's not like any animal I've encountered. And it's not like any person I encounter. It's really just like a, seems like an ET energy to me, you know, like a higher vibrational being. Uh, they, they communicate telepathically and all that. But, well, I'm rambling here. So let's get to uh, Tartaria Tour St. Augustine. We got the Star Fort too. Oh, one thing I gotta say about the Star Fort. Like, the book, um, Messages in Water. By that Japanese scientist um, you know when he said love I love you to a cup of water and he freeze flash froze it it formed a beautiful crystal and he did that many times he said I hate you it formed an ugly crystal and you compare the beautiful crystals to the star forts and they're really similar really really similar and they say they use the star forts for war but um you know, using common sense, I mean, that doesn't make sense. They maybe have used them for war, like, after the devolved people came in, after the parasites came in. Um, but initially making those for war, I don't think so. I think mean, they're maybe for protection, like Michelle Gibson was talking about in New Earth. Um, maybe for ascension, like they say that the Native Americans and indigenous people say that their ancestors came from the stars. So uh, the, the star forts could be portals to different realms. Um, so let's keep an open mind. If you don't have an open mind, skip this video, unsubscribe. Uh, but if you do, welcome. And let's uh, explore together and um, uncover the dirt and the mud that's hiding. things that will empower the people. Let's stay empowered, raise the vibe, have joy. Important to have joy. Alright guys, enjoy Tartaria Tour, St. Augustine. Let's go into the, uh, let's go into it. Alright, welcome to Tartaria Tour, St. Augustine. 
This is like a Tartaria heaven. Came in here right after a dolphin swim. And <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know what color it was. I don't want the camera to get wet. <laughs> look at this. Now look at this. And there's a star fort two blocks away. Put all that antiquity. And they keep it in good condition. Look at that dome on there. My brother. <laughs> My girlfriend. <laughs> what are they doing? Exactly. Look at this dome. Wow. Yeah, next time we gotta stay here. Staying in this is just would be a beautiful. Travel on the time. Beautiful travel. All right. All right, we, just, we started off the park right here. And here is the little starting area. All right. I was going to think of it. We got the bandstand. Okay. I want to take a photo of that flower. Here's the bandstand. And then this building is the treasury. Right, here's this building. The treasury. Can you move the umbrella up a little bit? Because this was a Spanish town, ah, supposedly before, yeah. 
And this, this is. And now we're going over here. Here's where we just were at. Another angle. Hmm? I'm talking to the video. <laughs> I need to do narration. King's crown or the Pope's crown, but it looks like a pine cone, pineal gland. Oh, move it. Can you move the uh, umbrella? It's blocking it. Bells and the top. And then this top. Okay, cool. Can I see? Yeah. Center, center. Ah, but it. What? Uh, Jimmy wants to go to the museum, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, this is our vacation. So, yeah. Wow.
pine cones. Again, just like the Versace Mansion, just like many places of the old world, pineal gland, third eye. This and move back to here. Alright, ready? Wow, it's made out of seashells. And this is the building I saw on the internet that I really wanted to see. I also want to go to the stair fort before it gets dark. There are lions everywhere in this town. Field too. Where's the front of this college? Should we walk around it? Wow, look at these. Oh, here's a good shot. Yeah, that's what the shot done. You know what, if we will keep doing this, I need a film camera. So I can take photos and you do you. Yeah. <clears throat> and we need umbrella hats. Nah. And now it will be raining at home. So much stuff, it's overwhelming. I think you need to do like a quick thing, what we are doing now. Yeah. To film. Yeah, but I gotta get in something. Sorry for the bumpiness, it's raining, and it is hard to film like this. Lions all over. Beautiful.
Look at that. Are you kidding me? I would love to do photos. Can we go in? The visitors not allowed. Well, maybe just the phone. Yeah, let's go. Look inside here. Henry M. Flagler. Go to the east railway. That is beautiful in there. Come on. Yeah, it's a chocolate. Look at this fountain. I want to touch it. Wow.
Where do I go? Oh yeah, that looks nice. That's good. This list is good. Yeah, it's like a, a bell. It's like a church bell. <laughs> yeah. This is all redone. That's a monica. Yeah. That's a monica. Okay, ready? Okay. How are you doing? Okay. You don't need to do it. I can see it. I can say it like... It was intense. This is good. Just yeah. how I like it. This is like a newer, newer building, but this is the old one. Wow, and look at these lions on there. This is beautiful. <sighs> look at this. Lion. Look, at look, you can see on the zoom. Wow. Snake. Snake fish. That's it's like a Gyarados. It's like a Pokemon Gyarados. <laughs> There's Pokemons in there. Is that a Pokemon? How many of Pokemons are based on? Tartaria. Probably. The old world. Look at this. This is some type of technology. You see the spire? What? You see the spinning? Spinning. Spinning around. Spinning clockwise. Spinning around. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just so amazing. And look at this. Now look at this. You want a picture in front of it? All right, look at the detail here. This 
bricks. Wow, these bricks have the flat earth on them. The Atlantis. All these bricks. This one is like bad. Hey, you don't like them? You <laughs> think bad for us. Okay, give me instructions. Look at this statue. Take your model online. Yeah. Okay, ready? They're on the fort? Yeah. No, they're at the Star Fort. There's some yard work over here, it looks like. Look at this. Another fountain. Another statue. Look at this at the back. Oh, it's the back of that building.
to the other side. Both, both sides have this open area. Another fountain on this side. Yeah, wow, these statues look kind of like Indian. <laughs> this is what you said. No, that was my idea. <laughs> have in the head. Look, there's a snake at the bottom. Some kind of animal. Yeah, what is that on the head? I don't know. Two. Just what are these? Reynolds block. Casa Monica. But I think you should be. Filming? I got it filming. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. We can walk around there? Yeah, you can. Oh, that's awesome. The rain is coming. Speed the rain. This place is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Would you say this stone was made out of? of Coquina. Stone? Coquina stone. It's a shell rock. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, there was water around here? Yeah. Oh, and they drained it out? Yeah. yeah. This was a Spanish fort. Oh, that's interesting. This, isn't, this wasn't made by Americans. Hmm. Oh, this is cool.
all water around here. Walking around the water area. What do you think? It's incredible. Some kind of fire pit. Uh, say that it's for cannonballs. Umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella. Rain's coming. Like what? Oh yeah. It's, it's, they both match. the iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Tim, let's go to that museum you want to go to. All right, cool. Look at the water coming out of those. Ponce de Leon Hotel. This is now Flagler College. Um, just gonna review a little bit of the mainstream stuff and say some thoughts on what I think. First, I want to say shout out to um, Conspiracy R Us. This video is a classic. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend it. He's talking about how this hotel has a lack of bathrooms. 
has not nearly enough to support the amount of rooms. 540 guest rooms, to be exact. So the Ponce de Leon Hotel, also known as the Ponce, was an exclusive luxury hotel in St. Augustine, Florida, built by millionaire developer and Standard Oil co-founder Henry M. Flagler, and completed in 1888. The hotel was designed in the Spanish Renaissance style. It's the first major project of the New York architecture firm Carrier and Hastings, which would go on to gain world renown. All right, so just right there, this guy. Standard Oil and Henry M. Flagler was an American industrialist and founder of Standard Oil, which was first based in Ohio. He was also a key figure in the development of the Atlantic coast of Florida and founder of the Florida East Coast Railway, much of which he built through convict leasing. Convict leasing was a system of forced penal labor which was historically practiced in the southern United States and overwhelmingly involved African American men. Recently a form of the practice has been instituted in western states. What the? In the earlier forms of the practice, convict leasing provided prisoner labor to private parties such as plantation owners and corporations. All right. Well, this, I mean, just right there, that's, you know, that's pretty sketch. Convict leasing. He built this stuff. He's known as the father of Miami and Palm Beach. Ah, uh, yeah, right. You know, the natives and the Moors were there first, buddy, not Mr. Henry. All right, so right there, Standard Oil, you know, you got John D. Rockefeller, who hijacked the medical industry, did a lot of terrible things. And then this guy, who he built, supposedly built the railway through convict leasing, Mm. Yeah, I mean, and the whole thing about the standard oil uh, being made from fossil fuels when it's like, that is not true. Like, it's, it's, it's abundant. Oil is abundant in the earth. And it's not made from fossil fuels. Completely made up term. You can research that on your own. And a monopoly... Yeah, they gained Monopoly, so I do not trust this story. I just don't. Do you? Would you? Standard Oil was an illegal Monopoly. I mean... You know, I mean, we can read all this information, and I'm sure you can go into it. We already know the oil companies have blood on their hands. Um, we can use our intuition and basic common sense reasoning to not trust these people. Rockefeller, Flagler, and Standard Oil. So let's just take, let's take a look at some pictures. It's a beautiful campus. There's the location. Ah, uh, the inside I never got to see. So let's take a look at the inside. The detail on the painting. 
windows. I'm assuming this is where the dome is, or maybe on the left or right side. There's a side view. This is a nice inside this red wood. Gorgeous as a harp right there. Who knows, maybe they repainted it. Alligator. Let's take one more look right over here. Library of Congress. Look at this. Let's zoom in. I can't zoom in that much. That's terrible. Well, let's look over here. detail on those roofs. And it's still there. Still exactly how it was. All right, guys, we just want to do this section on the architects of the Ponce de Leon Hotel, Flagler College. Um, I feel it's important. Carrere and Hastings. I watched a few mainstream videos on them. Um, I watched this presentation, it was like a school presentation, and then I watched this Flagler Museum lecture. Not the whole thing, I, I watched about I don't know, halfway through it. But, <clears throat> so, these are the architects of the supposed Ponce de Leon Hotel and the one across the street, both of which um, you see uh, the images of in the video that we got. Um, so, Carrere and Hastings, the firm of John Mervyn Carrere and Thomas Hastings, was one of the outstanding American Beaux Arts architecture firms located in New York City. The firm practiced from 1885 until 1929, although Carrere died in an automobile accident in 1911, right before the opening of the New York Public Library. So they said that this is, well, this is their main work. Um, even just looking at this picture, look at this thing around here. They said this is built in the same area where um, there was like an Egyptian type thing here, this, this thing. Um, someone did a recent video on this, I think Wooden Nichols and Berserker Bear did a, uh, some posts on it. Um, but look at this, they said it was built in the same spot. So, could be possible, but I mean, look at the mud flood windows right here on the library. So wh what that lecture basically said was these guys, Carrier and Hastings, were completely ahead of their time, and the Ponce de Leon Hotel, this was the first major project that they worked on. And, you know, I'm all for, like, human beings having infinite potential. You know, I'm all for that. And we have, human beings do have infinite potential. Um, but <clears throat> it just doesn't make sense in terms of the narrative and um, everything. 
the detail of this building is absolutely incredible. Um, and again, in watching the mainstream lecture on it, I felt like there's truth mixed with lies, as in the NASA stuff, as in all the mainstream stuff. They mix it in so part of yourself resonates with it. And uh, But when you question deeper, I feel like um, you got to you gotta question it. One thing that they said, <clears throat> yeah, well, this was their first major work. And if you think about any first thing that you do, it's not going to be the best. The first beats I've made were not that good. Um, <clears throat> the first videos I made, not that good. Uh, and I'm sure anything else that you're doing, if you start something, it's not that good. And you look at this Ponce de Leon Hotel. This is like a masterpiece. I think this is even more beautiful than the New York Public Library. Um, like, this is incredible. I've never seen anything built like this, uh, really ever. And being in it is much different than even just seeing it as a picture. You know, the picture doesn't do it justice, but you can see the detail in there. I try to zoom in as much as possible in the video. Um, but yeah, so they talk about that. They talk about, yeah, them getting started. I'm not going to play it because I don't want any copyright strikes. But this was interesting, the Egyptian thing. It was like a water reservoir. Um, but I do not believe that they built this. She talks about how, you know, the, the people who built this courier in Hastings built it because they were family friends with Hen Henry Flagler. He married, you know, a bunch of people married with, within, and they all became working partners. Um, and then they go to talk about the Paris you know, Palace of Versailles. I didn't catch the details quite on that, but I'm gonna keep watching this, maybe do a video fully just on the architects. Um, but, um, and then they were talking about how the Ponce de Leon Hotel was before the World's Fair and how these architects were completely ahead at the time of the World's Fair and they, they only had like a small, um, they only had a, f a small thing at the World's Fair. Let's see. Yeah, it says that Carrier was chairman of the Board of Architects from for the 1901 Pan American Exposition and design the triumphal bridge and the landscape features throughout the fairgrounds. So I do believe that the world's fairs, these buildings were already there and they just painted them. Maybe they spray painted them. Maybe they d used regular paint, uh, whatever. But look at the ornate detail in here. And why would they knock all this down other than to hide something? Um, I do think it's mixed truth and lies are mixed together to um, put these architects together. I would like to do a video with someone else to really get into it. But yeah, they said they built this library. There are lots of pictures of this library being built, but um, then again, don't know, don't know what is photoshopped, you know, you gotta question everything. All right, so here's what was here before the library, this distributing reservoir, but this looks totally Egyptian, you know? And now that we know that America is really the old world, the true old world and the original Egypt, this makes a lot of sense. And there, I pulled up pictures before of, um, there's an arch by 
the Flatiron Building, and if you look to the left, there is lions, um, super Egyptian sphinx type creatures, not just lions though. I mean, let me see if I can just pull it up for you real quick. But look at that, yeah. Ernest flag elevation showing the position suggested for the Tilden Library building. Bryant Park from the corner of 5th Avenue and 42nd Street. So this is suggested Tilden. And we were just at Fort Tilden. My wife and I. I say it's a just a picture, but you know, just a rendering. But I suspect that this was already there. And they just destroyed it. So let me just show you real quick the uh, flat iron. No, this is wrong. Madison Square Park. Well, this is the obelisk guy I got on Instagram. It says for the Corporation of New York. Quite interesting. But, oh yeah, here it is. Here is this arch. And yeah, this picture, we see these totally Egyptian things. And yeah, why would they delete, or tear down this arch, beautiful arch? Okay, and that's, See these? This looks really Egyptian. I did do an IG TV live on this area. Check it out on the Tartaria Tour Instagram. And I did kind of go over this arch in Tartaria Tour 4, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, but yeah, these architects, you know, I don't know. Feels like truth mixed with lies. Yeah, it says that they surpassed their mentors and surpassed all the other architects to build the Ponce de Leon Hotel. Which is possible, but in the case of this, just being in the presence of this building and this whole town, the energy, it doesn't tell me that. It doesn't, doesn't add up. Maybe they built the library, but I don't know. There's the vases. Maybe one more thing on the library I wanted to go. Okay, yeah, here's old library pictures. What do you guys think? This could be photoshopped, look, vanilla sky, whited out. This shows a construction photo. This was really interesting. I wanted to look at this. This shows seven stories underneath the library. It says that there are, they built seven stories underneath it, which I'm sure was already, look, there, look at that. This is the main area in the famous library. And then one, two, three, four, five, and it goes lower and lower. Wow. It makes you question, is, are all the buildings in New York and these places, like, how low do they go? And going back to here, look at this. The New York Public Library and mud flood windows. Like, it looks total, it looks dug out. Looks like they were digging it out. Why would they have half a fucking window?
So it shows here that it goes lower. But um, uh, maybe I'll do another video on this, but you know, remember to question everything. Um, have a great day.